G'day guys, it's James from Commodore Solar. Today we're going to do a walkthrough our Power Hub XL. So this is our medium sized power hub. Uh, it can fit eight batteries in it and uh, you typically see these uh, on a medium to large home. That's where we most often uh, size one of these. Uh, so it's powered with a, a Victron 8 kVA in this instance. We typically will have a 10 kVA or a 15 kVA. Uh, that's powered with, with Victron. Uh, we've got our uh, batteries down the bottom, which is Pylon Tech. That's our favorite batteries. Uh, lithium ion phosphate technology. Uh, very, very safe and stable chemistry. One of the biggest points of differences with our Power Hub XL and Power Hub commercials is our temperature controlled DC air conditioners. When the cabinets get hot, the air conditioner will automatically kick in and that's based on the temperature inside the cabinet. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep all of your electrical equipment and batteries at an optimal temperature. Now this is gonna make a big difference to longevity, especially at the back end of your system. You know, once you get to year 15, I, we really expect these are gonna last a good couple of years longer. The other thing it can do is when, when the inverter gets really hot, so if it gets to 45 or 60 degrees, if you've got a 10 kVA inverter, that'll actually derate to around half. So instead of 10 kVA of power that it can put out, it might only be able to put out 5 kVA or so. So keeping it at an optimal temperature makes a big difference. All right, let's take a look at the, at the switchboard. So we've got our AC switchboard here. Uh, so this is your main switchboard um, and you can connect to uh, the subboard circuit there. That's what you're gonna connect to your house or your shed. Uh, we've got the uh, we've got the circuits here for the outside of the power hub. There's actually two 15 amp outlets on the side of the power hub. Down here, we've got our uh, our changeover switch, so it'll be set to standalone. So that means that that's what your off grid system's running off. If you need to, you can put it down to generator only. And the time that you would do that is just say so if you have a problem with the system, um, you can go you can run off your generator. So you put it down to generator only. Then next to that, we've got our main generator switch. That's where we're gonna hardwire our generator into. Um, you typically would see a, an automatic generator. Um, it doesn't have to be, but every system needs a backup generator. Um, and we typically see that connected with a two-wire auto start. So the systems are all ready to connect a two-wire auto start generator. Now, a backup generator will kick in when your batteries get low. So say once they get down to 10 or 20%, that's what we'll typically set it to. The generator kicks in and will charge your batteries up. The other thing it can do is it can provide some peak power. So say for example, in this case, we've got an 8 kVA inverter. So that's gonna run your house. And just say you wanna do some welding or you've got a car hoist uh, that's going to draw more power than your 8 kVA can put out the generator will kick in automatically to provide some peak power whilst you're welding, and then it'll turn off automatically uh, when you're finished. My favorite part of the Victron system is the Victron Servo. Now this is a brains unit of your off-grid system. Uh, it's industry leading. We really recommend having an internet connection to your servo. That's going to enable you to have uh, data from on your phone from anywhere in the world. So you can see how your system's tracking live. It enables us to uh, assist you if you ever have a, a problem with your system, if we need to do a bit of troubleshooting or fine tuning, you might have a question about your system, we can log in easily and see what's going on and, and answer that question. Um, and also expanding your system as well. We can go back and you might think, okay, do I need to add an extra battery? We can go back, analyze the data and say, yes, you should, or no, look, it's actually tracking just fine. Uh, there's no need to do that. Okay, so we've got our MPPT tucked away in the side here. That's a, a smart a Victron Smart Solar 45100. You can uh, connect 6.6 .6 kilowatt of solar. So that's DC coupled solar. It's going to uh, convert your solar power into DC power. You can also connect an AC solar inverter such as a Fronius. Um, so that you can also provide power that way. That will convert your solar power into 240 volt AC power. So that'll give you extra power over and above the Victron inverter. Um, so it'll, it'll power loads directly and it can also charge the batteries as well. So your solar is gonna come in the side and it's gonna come in and terminate at your DC isolator. Uh, we've, we've got a couple of breakers there, one for the air conditioner and another for the lights. 
One of the biggest advantages of our power hub cabinets is it takes all of the complexities that, that are involved in an off-grid system. There's hundreds of components and details and over a hundred checks that we make when we're uh, programming and testing these. And that just makes life so easy when it comes to installation. You get these on site, all the hard work's already done, so you can connect your solar in, in via the side. The batteries are often in the cabinet, but if not, we can, you can easily add the batteries in, connect your generator and connect your sub board. Our Commodore headquarters are based here in Shepparton, Victoria. There's 50 plus staff employed full time, and we're dedicated to designing, building, and supporting off-grid systems. This type of off-grid infrastructure, it's long-term infrastructure, so you really want to get it right. It's not like buying a car and driving it away. We really need a partner to, to look after the infrastructure. So no matter what question you might have or any problem that might arise, we're going to be here to pick up the phone and get you sorted out. I hope you found this video helpful, uh, doing a run through of the Power Hub. If you have any questions uh, regarding off-grid or you've got an off-grid project, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to assist you with that.